keyboards, specifically gaming keyboards. If you're wondering what a gaming keyboard is, or why you even need one, let me tell you. It is a keyboard that does incredible things like light up. Some keyboards are extra clicky. Some are, you know, easier to press, you know, extra speed. Always good for gaming. Some are shorter, like the 60% Ducky 1 2 Mini. It's right here. Or even just one hand. The more expensive the keyboard, the better it usually is. Supposedly. But dang it. Not everybody has a hundred dollars to spend on a piece of plastic or metal that lights up. So I have found you all an alternative. This keyboard brought to you by the PC Gamer of the Year. Booga! So leave a like and let's get into it. Okay, so the first part about this keyboard is the cost. Now, this keyboard only cost $10 which is ironic since I got it at five below. So if the box isn't lying, like it lights up. Check number one that it's a gaming keyboard. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what treasures it has inside. Hopefully there's even a keyboard in here. I'm trying my hardest right now to save this box as much as possible and it does not want to be saved. It's fighting me. It just shot something at me. Where is it? Isn't that quality? That nice little fabric. Alright, let's get her out. Thank you, Mr. Box. Wait, you're still attached. Okay, hold on. Cool. So we got... The most basic instruction manual I've ever seen with a product. It's it's barely a pamphlet. Barely a pamphlet. It's literally just that's it. I mean it's pretty it should be obvious it's a keyboard. I mean like you should know how that works. Alright, well that's the instruction manual. Pretty sweet to the point. There's really nothing funny in here. It just tells you basically how the keyboard works and macros and uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, nice, simple, nothing wrong with it. Okay. This, on the other hand, is interesting. Because I'm pretty sure it's just the U. And apparently it's a collectible. <laughs> okay. So, good thing I saved the box, because these probably worth a lot of money. Now let's get to the part we're all really interested in. The keyboard itself. out of here oh what a beaut <laughs> it's huge oh my gosh okay i thought I, the, I thought the box was oversized it's holding a huge product this is a gigantic keyboard oh my gosh it's pretty light i guess that's not necessarily a good thing with these like big old keyboards that usually means there's not a lot of hardware inside. The back's a nice texture, I suppose. It's got these little feet. They are they're all right. They could be better. But the big question: Does it light up? Moment of truth. I'm arming the keyboard. It lights up! Okay, I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> I didn't think it would. <laughs> okay, it lights up. It's got number lock, caps lock, and scroll lock. Just like a basic keyboard. And it's ready to go. Computer recognizes it. It's a legit thing. It's real. Okay, it types. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet. Let's get that. Well, listen to those keys. Oh, they're they're so they're so quiet. Which some keyboards like that's their whole point is that they're supposed to be quiet. So I guess that might be a plus if you want a nice quiet keyboard. 
It doesn't feel terrible. Maybe it would be a lot better if I had the key core out of the way. Oh, the space bar sucks. Okay. The space bar is, is not the best, but... You know, it is what it is. That's like the... That's the worst part is the, is the space bar. Everything else seems to be good. The, the RGB on the back is actually like... It's actually pretty good. I It's got the whole... Green across to blue. I mean, it's pretty nice. The RGB blacklit. It's pretty cool. It's got arrow keys, which is more than I can say for my other keyboard. This one, to do anything, you have to have a function. But we're not here to compare it to this. This is not fair. This is $10. This is 16 times that. So, I found our very fair referee. Logitech. This keyboard is a celebrity. The... Just wait. It's also wireless. And it has a mouse. So, I can't get over how big it is. It's just like huge. It's it's very big. That's okay, that's a downside of my Oh my. What is this? Is it peeling? Oh. Guys, I'm starting to think this isn't a super duper high quality product. Doesn't even have a Windows key. It just has a square. Okay. Let's jump into a, some games real quick. See how it feels. The first game we got is a classic. Everybody loves Minecraft. It's pretty tactile, which is like another one of those big, um, big gaming keyboard things. Is they love tac tactility. Just how good it the keyboard feels. You know, it it feels everything but the spacebar feels all right. Which I'm actually like, like I said, I'm pretty surprised about since this is a. Uh, not the most costly thing, which is a good thing. So you can get a decent keyboard for not that much. I might as well into Skywars. Now, I gotta warn you guys, I'm not a PvP legend, even on my awesome keyboard. So, bear with me. Okay, I missed an input. Okay, it is... Okay, it's a little interesting. I'm... Goodbye. I gotta admit, it doesn't feel terrible. Okay, the, the only problem that I have is the space bar. I don't feel like I pressed it when I actually press it. Okay, I'm gonna get killed. Okay, I'm gonna die. Why are you throwing eggs at me? Okay. And of course, to play with the other one, I'm going to just use... I can't... Okay, so the key right keyboard right here is a little bit... I don't like the design. That's so annoying. They're above me. The key okay, it's actually pretty good. Okay, I can I can build with it and stuff. It is not it's okay. That was rude of you, sir. He's trying to shoot me down, isn't you? Here they come. Like I said, it's it's actually not it's not terrible. Actually, it's pretty good for Fortnite too. <laughs> it's not bad. This keyboard is actually all right. If you purchase this, you'd have an okay keyboard. You should probably upgrade. But if you're just trying, if like you just got into the PC. And you want to play on the, you want the PC experience. This keyboard is not terrible.
it lights up, you know, the keys feel okay. Like, they could feel better. And it, it's a full keyboard, you know, that's not a terrible thing. It's just a style option. You know, I prefer 60% and, like, 70%. But it's not bad. It's huge, but it's not bad. You would need, a, like, a, a pretty big size desk. I think you'd be okay with this keyboard as, as your keyboard for at least a while, you know. You should, you should definitely upgrade. It's not the best keyboard in the world, though, by any means. But it's not terrible. Now, let's compare it to the other keyboard I have. The Logitech Classic. This one, I'm pretty sure everybody has used this one at some point. It's just like one of those keyboards that is just kind of iconic for being just cheap. The entire bundle, it comes with a mouse, by the way. It comes with a mouse. And it's wireless, which can be a, like a pretty big benefit for a lot of people. It's around twenty to twenty-five dollars, depending on where you get it. And it comes with a keyboard and a mouse, and it's wireless. Like it has a lot of pluses. Does not light up though, so I mean I'm just saying. And the mouse does not have side buttons, which makes it a big. A big L in my book, but it's okay. You know, it is what it is. You can get a really cheap uh, mouse with side buttons. So it's not not that terrible. It's really just basic stuff. You know, it needs batteries and all that kind of stuff. This is what plugs into your computer. Pop that out. There's your mouse. Batteries I don't think are included. So this one definitely costs... A little more, you know. There she is. And it, it basically looks like a school kind of keyboard. Alright. Alright, everyone, staying back. We're gonna slap some bats in it. It comes with batteries? Okay, I did not know that. Does the other keyboard have batteries too? It comes with batteries. They're literally just golden boys. Alkaline batteries. Okay, well sweet. I did not know it came with batteries. Okay. So basically you can take this out of the box, plug it in, and you're ready to go. But the other keyboard you can do the same thing. You just don't get a mouse. The whole point is that you have a keyboard that's you just put it like this, you shove it in a bag, and you're good to go. Which is a good plus, because this other one is absolutely massive. It covers up, it can eclipse both of them. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just another thing to consider. The other keyboard is huge. Uh, I like the feel of the spacebar a little bit more. It's, it, across the keyboard, it is more consistent. Now the other one, there was that, like, those patches of sticky. There's also not that, like, stickiness on the keys. Like, if I rub my fingers across it, there's no, there's no, um, like, drag, I guess you could say. This part of the keyboard is a little bit nicer. I've got to admit, this, this section right here is a little bit nicer on this one than the other one. I can, I feel a little bit more confident about pressing V than I do with the other one. The other one I, I slipped and I accidentally jumped. Okay, we've got two heavy shotguns, so we're doing something. Oh, we got three. Okay, we're doing something wrong. Like, we should never get this many. It feels more natural right here. The other one felt big. Uh, that's all I can say about the other one is is it, it it's a presence. You know, it's a big keyboard. You know, like, Oh, the juice moves now. It's it's big. It's very chunky. And I think it's kind of designed that way. Okay, the mouse on this one, it, like, this one is really small. Like, it's pretty small. I'm, I've got slight, like, a... I've got... Oh, I'm getting a shot. My hands aren't, like, huge, but they're not also, like, tiny either. You know. Let's dance, I guess. This keyboard is really nice for a uh, zero build, actually. 
the other keyboard uh, the other keyboard was actually like built like i feel like they didn't kind of designed it less like around fortnite because and then which makes sense the dude who who like the design the like supposedly helped with the keyboard booga it was like is like the world cup winner of fortnite so it makes sense that it's designed around his like favorite game or whatever but i feel like it would also like work really well around games where you can't build like Fortnite. What the heck? Okay, okay. The the keyboard is the key, it's slipping up. The mouse is the mouse is tripping. Wired is better most of the time, actually. You're not drop that shield. Wouldn't matter if you did. Why is it tripping like this? Ah! Okay, the mouse is not that great. The keyboard's alright. You would still probably need to get another mouse. I just got wrecked. <laughs> Poor man. Okay, the DPI is a big deal. That lack of custom ability of the DPI. Okay, it's a huge factor. I'm rolling these kids right now, though. Because the mouse is so small... Like, I'm able to click it with the stronger part of my finger. I'm gonna die. Okay. I'm actually able to click it with the stronger part of my finger right here in the middle. And I'm, I'm able to click a little bit faster. Interesting. Three kills that game, not bad. So I guess, I guess it's that time where we have to come to our conclusion. Which keyboard is better? And for gaming, I would have to say, it's actually kind of shocking to me. I was on Team Logitech, but it's actually this one. If I was wanting a keyboard for gaming, I would pick this one over the Logitech one. Seven days out of ten. Seven days out of ten. Like... Don't get me wrong, it's not a great keyboard, but it's also not a bad keyboard. Like, it holds its own. I, I think if you propped it up, this part, this issue right here with the with the space bar, like how it's like, kind of like, they're on the same level. I don't think you can see it, but they're like basically on the same level. I think if you propped it up like that, that issue would disappear. And this keyboard would become just fine. It's a little big, but it has, I think this is supposed to be like a rest or something i don't know so what what i would recommend for you is to get this one the booga keyboard get yourself like a five ten dollar mouse with side buttons and that is actually this is a these are okay peripherals if you need it for anything else like if you're buying a keyboard for your office if you're buying a keyboard for your xbox if you're buying a keyboard for pretty much anything but gaming on a on a like on a computer this one pretty much wins this one pretty much wins every time the wireless really helps with that but honestly if given the choice between the two of them and i got to play on them for like a little bit each and i could keep one i'd keep the booga one if i was gaming so actually it's just a solid keyboard so there you have it the booga keyboard <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. <laughs> if you want to buy them, this one, you can get it at five and below for $10. Like that's a pretty good deal. This one you probably get, you can get it at Best Buy or Amazon or pretty much anywhere where they sell electronics. It's it's a really common keyboard. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed or if you would like to see. This keyboard is not the only one in the thing. I thought there were two because I found, ooh, not the whole thing. I found, it's little brother. And it's also a booger keyboard. One handed. Okay, this one. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to this one because I've never actually used a one handed keyboard before. So it'll be an experience for both of us. And until then, like, subscribe, and kinetic out.